Rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis are lifelong conditions. Everyone has a different journey and experience. But with treatment and support, life with these conditions can be positive, healthy and meaningful. Looking back on it, I probably should have listened the first time someone said to me in my mid-twenties, your fingers look funny. But nobody really said that could be arthritis. I believe an early diagnosis is very, very important. I think it does make a difference to the disease progressing. If psoriatic arthritis could have been diagnosed in my late 30s, early 40s, I would have nowhere near the joint damage that I've got today. I was diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis eight years ago. I was 18. I first started having symptoms in grade 10. There was times where down times I had to use um, walking stick to get around and that was at the age of you know, 17, 18. The biggest thing that changed for me and that really made a difference in my life and my treatment of rheumatoid arthritis was not pretending that everything was okay. The doctors are there to help you, you just need to ask. I have been prescribed lots of anti-inflammatories in different forms, topical um, suppositories, tablets, you name it. At first they put me on painkillers, uh, that didn't work, then slightly stronger painkillers, that didn't work either but it just made me feel a little bit groggy. And then next was a steroid injection, um, which worked temporarily. My first uh, treatment was uh, with methotrexate and uh, prednisolone. It took about six months for the body to, to get used to the medication. I started with methotrexate. Um, it was the only treatment I've ever been on, uh, apart from hydroxychloroquine, but methotrexate was the first treatment I went on and I um, started at a medium dose and went up high to try and get my inflammation down and then I have now got a stable dose that works for me on a weekly basis. I have felt sick when I've taken methotrexate at high dose but I've just lowered, you know, we've managed to lower the dose and, and it works for me. I was on the methotrexate for about three years. My pain probably went down quite a lot but I was still living with a baseline of pain that was uncomfortable and still made daily um, activities quite difficult. And that was when they put me forward for the biological drugs. My specialist here um, told me about the biologics that were available and so I um, transitioned onto those and um, tried one for six months I think and it wasn't so effective and then I moved on to another one which I've been on now for over 10 years. I um, went across to biologics. I've been on the biologics now since age 60 so that's 15 years. I really feel good. I'm not in pain. I think the key to arthritis is early diagnosis. If you diagnose it early, you can really pause the onset of the disease before it gets really bad. The major tip that I would have is take personal responsibility for your condition. Make sure that you eat the right things. Make sure that you get the exercise. It's not the doctor's job to keep you healthy. It's your job. I do get the occasional flare, but it's nothing to write home about. It's, it's certainly self-managed. So I know there's some certain triggers for me uh, that I'm just trying to avoid um, to try and stop that flare. Flare management is really just about identifying where perhaps you're sitting on that pain scale. I don't have to feel that I have to be on point every single day. It's just part of having this disease. Anyone with rheumatoid arthritis knows all you want is to get a state to a stable place and then you don't want to mess with it. So I'm in a stable place, I want to stay where I'm at, I haven't changed anything for a really long time, my dose works, I just want to keep hiking, keep doing the things I enjoy doing, stay healthy and enjoy life as long as I can.